All right, guys, welcome back. Now, a quick thing that I have to say here is that it is possible to have different names for a checkbox. So I can have course one as a name for the first checkbox and course two as a name for the second checkbox. Now that I've got that off my chest, let us start learning about drop down menus and text areas. Now, let's say we want to create a drop down menu in our form. Generally, you use it where you want the user to select a country and they just have to click and it gives you a drop down list of all the countries that are possible for the user to select but right now let's just create an age group so so let's have a label called age group and to specify a drop down menu we are going to be using a tag called select tag and this select tag is going to take another op tag called option now this option is going to be the list of options in the drop down menu. Now the first thing we can have for the select is a name. So let's say this is age. And in our option we can have the age group of 10 to 20. Now I'm just going to quickly copy this and we can have several options for the drop down menu. So let's say this is 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 30, 40, 50, 60. So if we save this and if I reload it, then I get an age group label and then a drop down menu next to this. So if I click on the drop down menu, I get the list of options that I can select. So if I click on 30 to 40, it gets populated with 30 to 40. If I click on 50 to 60, it gets populated with 50 to 60. Pretty cool. Now let's say we want to create a comment section where the user can leave a comment in the form. Now for that, we are going to be making use of another type of input called a text area. So let's say comment and this is going to be a text area tag. Now this text area is going to have a name attribute once again and that's no surprise right now so comment but a text area you need to specify rows and columns so how much how many rows is this text area supposed to take let's say three rows and how many columns is it supposed to take let's say 10 columns so we have created a text area that is going to be across three rows and 10 columns. Now, if we save this and reload it, so we have a comment label and then a small text area next to it. Now, this text area can have three rows, and then once you start typing, it's going to convert it into a scroll bar where you're going to have to scroll. But anyway, three rows and then 10 columns is the amount of data it can take. And you can just click on the bottom right and keep extending this. And if you minimize it, it goes all the way back. But the minimum length is going to be three rows and 10 columns, no less. So that's pretty much it about the text area and the drop down menu. And in the next video, let us understand about submitting and resetting forms. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.